Stevie here. I'm at the Grove, and uh, for some reason, I, I got up earlier than normal, and I wanted to go see a horror movie by myself. I haven't seen a movie by myself in a minute, and I've been um, hearing some good reviews on The First Omen. Omen, oh, Damien, Omen, oh, Damien. Which is the prequel to the OG Omen from the 70s when... uh. Damien's a kid um, and this movie's um, about Damien's mother aka the jackal so um, I'm guessing it takes place it's a historical piece so it'll take place in uh, Rome and I'm uh, I love the demonic shit so um, yeah I wanted to uh, see what was going on with it and I wanted to give you an honest review and uh this is a good time to be at the Grove. Check it out. There's like really no one here. I'm going to go to the World Market too. You know, I did a vlog here before. And uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. And I want to give you an honest review once I'm out of the movie. I got I wanted to get some stuff here at the World Market and uh, get some coffee too. Love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. So look at this. I got the whole theater to myself. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. I got the whole Grove Theater to myself. The AMC Grove Theater. Look, the ushering him in there. I love it. I need to go to the movies by myself more often. Purchase ticket. First Omen Sun. 10.45. Continue as guest. One adult. Let's go. Look, nobody is. I'm going to be the only one in the movie theater. And that's the best feeling in the world. Having the whole theater to yourself. Ain't nobody going to be in there but Stevie. You heard me. Here we go. Let me do the M. 14 dog 1389 oh check out mm-hmm oh mom damien oh mom damien mm. there you go Tickets being printed out, and uh, I'm very happy that I'm the only one here. So I got some time to kill. Um, I'm, I'm eating an empanada, um, but the video cut off. It cut off, and um, the um, two of the employees they're kind of sweating me. They're like, uh, "You're not supposed to be in here," um, and but why is the door unlocked? And they're like, and they thought that I was wanted to hang out for an hour inside the theater. And they're like, um, you're gonna have to leave. I'm like, I'm not trying to hang out. I'm gonna walk around. But um, I don't know I just thought I'd share that. I wish I would have caught that because I, 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 I was feeling their energy and um, things like, dude, don't you want customers? Don't you want people to watch your movies? Even if I'm in there for like 15 minutes early, I mean, the doors are unlocked, and so I mean, it's like they were they were kind of like, I guess trying to. Um, enforce their uh, AMC policies on me. But I'm a patron, I'm a customer. I just happen to be there a little early to buy a ticket. What's the big deal? I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my morning and enjoy the movie with the San Pinata and coffee. Oh, mom. There you go that's what you get when you're about to see the first omen look at that marketing it's like you're entering the church of satan for real oh look at this about to go go into confession mm. look at that and i bet you the person on here is going to be possessed so um i'm here at the movie theater uh, i'll give you a review i'm here uh 20 minutes early, I might get a, um, uh, my icy 
or a Coke, but look how cool this is. I gotta show this again. This is cool marketing. Look at that. That's good marketing. Oh man, Damian. Oh man, Damian. Oh man, Damian. Oh man, Damian. Oh man. Guess how much this goddamn ice he was? Eight dollars for this icy. I love it. It's theater eight down there, man. Theater eight. Uh, theater eight. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Just try to get a little social interaction in here. Oh, this is gonna be tight. Blumhouse. Hmm. Let's do it, let's do it. Where's Damien at, fool? Hmm. Where's Damien's mom at, fool? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Eight dollars. Unbelievable. I got the whole theater to myself, baby. Eight bones. <laughs> So I just got out of the movie theater. Um, I liked it. Um, I didn't love it, but um, it was a slow burn. Um, it took a while for the the narrative, the plot to pick up. Um, it's one of those movies where you think it's going one way, but then they flip it on you at the end. Um, and the ending was good. It, it set you up nicely for the original omen, you know, as far as, uh, Mr. Thorne, um, you know, actually adopting, uh, Damien, but, uh, yeah, the, I don't want to ruin too much about, I don't want to talk too much about the plot, um, there was some, it, it kind of reminded me of, there's moments where it reminded me of, like, Rosemary's Baby, and, um, maybe, like, Suspiria or something like that, as far as, like, the vibe of the movie um uh as far as the setting and how realistic it was it was it was it i believed it you know um as far as it taking place in rome in the 70s and um, and it, it, it looked pretty accurate i mean not that i know what it was like back then i mean i was a baby but as far as the way they presented um you know the country and the church um and another funny thing i mean i could say this without giving away the um the 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 story as far as spoilers but um there the psychology behind the antichrist is as far as the um the church um is they okay they they set it up where people were protesting against the church during that time period and and the whole reason to uh create this antichrist is to get people to go back to the church and to believe in Christ in the Lord you know and so it, it was it was kind of a weird um twist or angle um on the whole thing you know because because watching the previous uh the previous omens um i i never thought of it like that i always thought of uh like damien like you know as far as as far as the first omen and my, one of my favorites is damien when um when when damien's in like um like high school or like like when he's in ninth or tenth grade and he and then he's like coming into his powers and realize like self-realization him finding out that he is the antichrist you know but this was i'm the the soundtrack was good too i enjoyed uh especially um and i like that they didn't um they they had kind of a, a different kind of eerie dark soundtrack but towards the end of the movie it was reminiscent to the old nostalgic omen uh, movie, I mean, so, uh, music that we're used to as far as the original movies. Um, on a scale to 1 to 10, I'll give it a... 10 being the best, I'll give it like a 7.5. I'll give it, you know, 
I'll give it a C plus or a B minus, something like that. I expected a little bit more. Um, I just, I just didn't like the fact that they were. I didn't realize that they were trying to create so many antichrists, but it had, you know, it had to be a certain specific thing for it to work. Meaning that you know, a lot of them were, most of them were female, and then um, this the the beast and the woman uh or whatever the nun had to create us you know a male um and so there was a lot of i mean without giving too much of the story away there was a lot of um duds you know as far as not getting the right baby or the beast being born um, as far as the acting, I, I enjoyed it. I, um, I thought that the, um, the scariest parts as far as, uh, the, the scary performances of the, the older nuns at the church, uh, were pretty scary to me. Um, and then there's the one that, um, and, and this is not ruining too much of the story, but the one in the trailer that, uh, self-sacrifices herself and lights herself on fire. She, that was a pretty convincing, um, performance as far as her acting and, and as far as the main character. Um, I don't know, uh, what, what, where else I've seen where else I've seen her in, but she, yeah, she's pretty good. She was pretty good. Um, yeah, so I would recommend at least seeing it once. Um, I, um, I'm glad I saw it once. Um, I think I'm going to go see, uh, Immaculate next, but, uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, and if you want to see more, uh, movie reviews, this is just, I don't know if this is a one-off, but I just, I was up and I just decided to go, you know, I wanted to see it. So I, I, I watched Christopher Stuckman's uh, review on it. And so I'm like, well, if he says it's good, but uh, everyone has different opinions. I, 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 you know, as far as horror movies, I'm pretty harsh as well because I've seen so many. I'm very particular. You know, I like I would I would recommend at least seeing it once and I'll leave it at that. Um, thanks for tuning in. The first omen. Peace. Go check it out. Omen, oh, Damien. 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 Hiding in the crevices in the coral premises. Am I never? Thank you.